What's the one thing they haven't done to the turbo timber yet? Well, they smashed two into one, that's what. <laughs> this is the brand new twin timber, and I'm excited. This is gonna be so much fun. A 4S airplane, capable of 3S or 4S, with a 3200 milliamp battery, 3200 to 4000 milliamp. And this, I've been told, has the most durable, robust landing gear of them to date. Also very simple. It's a bit more simple than other versions of this airplane's landing gear. So less pieces to break. <laughs> and the nice thing about the props here, you cannot prop strike with the way this sits on the ground. These are up high enough that even if the landing gear give fully, these props cannot hit. And that is really cool. This comes with lights. It is bigger. I believe it's at 1.5 meters. It's a really big airplane. And I'm just excited to have so much power on such an awesome, well-known airplane. I think it's really cool that they took one of their best airplanes and modified it to have twin motors. So really, I, I, I just want to fly this. I really do. Sometimes I get nervous for flights. Today I'm excited. Despite the wind, we're dealing with like 12, 15 mile an hour gusts. I think we'll be just fine. We've got the power. Let's go. This guy has so much authority on all of these control surfaces. It's pretty crazy. Look at all that. That's awesome. And then you guys will like the split flaps so we can go up or down for those that fly inverted more than they do upright. That's probably not me today. This is a true maiden. I'm going to take off in safe. Now we have differential thrust too. So notice, Abby, we've got one prop spinning. Here we'll fire up this side. So differential thrust, you bind this up and it just works. A lot of wind, a true maiden flight today, but pure excitement motivating me. This should like have really good ground control with that differential thrust. And just for the simple fact that we like to share true pure maidens on our channel, give this video a like for us, please, because this could end very, very badly. <laughs> Here we go. This is what's safe on you guys. I'm just gonna try to keep it nice and scale and fun. And that was really cool and smooth. I kept that low to the ground. Just cruising at about half throttle. It sounds amazing. I'll shut up for this first pass so you guys can hear both of those props cutting through that air together. Oh, this is so nice. Just cruising right under half throttle, fighting the wind. All of this is with safe on. Uh, this would be beginner friendly absolutely because this is flying just like a trainer so anybody that wants a massive twin engine or twin motor airplane look how silky smooth and about half throttle on a 4s battery so remember this can fly on a 3s and it would do really well because we're just cruising around at such low throttle so let's go in for a full throttle pass here we go full throttle that's what's safe on my safe switch i'm going actually with their recommended position for safe but i'll uh, i'll kick it after this pass so here we go full throttle pass again so cool safe off let's go we're gonna have some fun on this maiden flight today you guys this is gonna be so cool flying really nice with safe off gonna be hard to tell for me to trim it up today just because of this wind but uh, it's flying really good with, with safe off. Let's go for a climb. Rolling it. Oh, that's so nice because we didn't have any airspeed when I went up for that climb. This just feels like the turbo timber, but so much better. Just bigger, more powerful. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, not very often we do that, but all you guys missed was this. Good job. Oh. You didn't miss a whole lot. Just a couple seconds of flight. Oh, the rolls are nice, the loops, the power behind the loop on this is what feels so good. And then it feels nice and floaty down to the ground too. So this comes with optional wing slats. Oh, that wind pushed me right there, you saw that. And I chose to go off on this, but I think I'm gonna have them installed for sure because 
it says on high speed it really doesn't affect it too much but on low speed it definitely makes it more floaty so i'm looking forward to that i just wanted to get one good flight in without them so i had something to compare that to because once they're installed they're glued on they're really not coming off that easily the ground clearance on this plane you guys is insane so that's going to come in really handy for tall grass like what we have here now we're going to start waking this thing up is everyone ready for this ready it's going for a nice snap out here with that differential thrust this should be really fun oh yeah that's so cool we're going to be able to do some stuff with this just because of the differential thrust that we couldn't do with other airplanes this being a maiden i don't know how crazy we're going to get but we're going to go for a little bit of craziness up here <laughs> that sounds just crazy when the prop cuts through the wind the way it's not supposed to it really is awesome isn't it wonder how well it knife edges with differential thrust oh yeah oh yeah it's so cool we're pulling in an audience i think we've got a golf cart pulling up behind us maybe we have a whole bunch of dogs on it <laughs> i can't see i looked back okay i don't see anyone i don't know what that was all about it's known to happen Let's go, let's go, just crazy. Oh yeah, we can, oh, this should flat spin. Let's see if I can do it. I'm not a good flat spinning pilot, but with the right airplane, I might be able to do yet. it. Yet. Not yet. Yeah, to add the word yet. Yeah, it goes into the wind. And I like to bring it up and try to get it into the flat spin. Oh, too much, too much air, too much air. <laughs> I can do it. Oh, I'm sorry guys. I need to do more of this off camera. Oh, and then too much, too much elevator. Oh, just not looking so good. So here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. One of Abby's favorites. Instead of a flat spin, we'll bring it into the death spiral down. And save it. <laughs> you had a lot of room to save it, I felt like. Yeah, I could have gone down maybe early. one more. <laughs> oh, that was tight. This is a fun maneuver. We can go up. And then, oh, knife edge catch. Ah, oh my it. goodness, you are wild. <laughs> that was rough, but it, it kind of got the job done. My gosh, this is just cool because it opens up some different opportunities for different maneuvers that we could do without this. So, uh, you know, we've got the differential thrust, so it's, it's crazy. After I fly for a video on YouTube, I always end up on the drive home thinking, uh, and I, and you know, I didn't, so it always, uh, it, it's hard to do a maiden flight and talk and think about the cool moves I want to do. You know, I'm not putting on a show here, but I am trying to think about what are all the different things I can do with this airplane. Uh, we can do a Cuban A. I mean, we can do anything with this. This is so capable, even on a maiden flight, it's just got my gears turning like, oh man, what, could, what else can I do? It's got me wanting to try new, different maneuvers. That's just a nice, good old Cuban 8. But you guys can probably see that wing rocking. You can see how uh, rough that wind is, right? Now, we haven't done anything with flaps yet. I got to make sure I get my flap control in the right direction. Because if I don't, it's going to go up. There we go. We got it down. With this crazy wind, let's go. This is, oh, no, no. Okay, Ooh, I almost was... stalled it. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> nose just knocked down for a second. I think the wind just nailed it. Look at that. There we go. This is cool, you guys. Trying to block the wind for the bike. Whoa. And we get it to go backwards. Maybe. We'll go. We'll go backwards the easy way. <laughs> <laughs> got the power with this thing we've definitely got the power that's for sure oh how cool is this you guys man i mean i could be cutting through this but because because we're just gliding it i know i've got enough power to just punch out of this if i need to let's just do it i'm gonna go off okay mm -hmm. ready i'm ready see and then there's our telemetry make sure i get my flaps back in the right spot there we go So that's a 3200 milliamp battery. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah. Man, this is fun. 
Oh, I'm going to get a lot of flights on this. And I know my alarm's going off, so I got to land. I like this a lot. Let's see if we can bring it in for a nice smooth landing, save our battery. It's only that the telemetry, the voltage alarm is only going off when I'm cranking it full throttle. But you know what? That's that's good enough. I've got a couple other batteries I can fly this thing. I'm trying to decide which way to land because of the wind. It's pretty nasty. Abby, what do you say we do a grass landing back here behind us? Okay. That would actually maybe help me. Let's swing it around. Yeah, it's it's good. We can do this. This will be actually the perfect direction for the wind and show you guys how great the clearance is because we never land anything here in the grass just because it's so tall. Cool. A little fast, so let's just do this one more time. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, we can throttle punch out of that. Okay, we moved so I can get a better shot. Yeah, that was that was a really good throttle punch because that was with the wind. I mean, we were definitely stalling there. And let's see, let's see here. Feels like it's coming in fast. Maybe I should land with flaps. There we go. Look, look at that. I mean, this is a really pothole kind of. Oh. <laughs> but look, no prop strike. No that's prop strike. That's the of that. No prop strike. That's impressive. So that's actually a pretty cool landing. <laughs> you don't have reverse throttle right now because that's what you it's need. Not in it, yeah. Okay. Can it have it? It does. Nice. You got to program that. That's hilarious. Well, that's definitely, in my opinion, the best flying and, and definitely the most unique uh, turbo timber, or timber, I guess, that is out there. Now, I like my Timber X because it's a little bit more like 3D capable. Not that I'm a 3D pilot, but I like to try. Uh, but this is more sporty and just fun and unique, which I love. Now, it's, yeah, it's got some weight to it. It's a big, heavy airplane. And so to see it out there tumbling and rolling around and stuff and that really impressive flight time on, on twin motors is crazy cool. And uh, I'm guessing that this type of airplane would push my limits. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying some maneuvers on this that I probably never tried on other airplanes, which makes me really glad I've got AMA, the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's an insurance program for those of us that like to fly RCs. If you've never heard of them before, I highly encourage you to check them out. We'll have them linked in the description box below. Flying in wind like this is just a little bit dangerous. I feel pretty confident in my own ability, but things happen, gusts come out of nowhere, and, and you never know when something could go wrong when you're flying, so I'm glad I've got insurance. We'll have the AMA linked below where you can buy this airplane. This thing is sweet, you guys. I think there's a lot left for me to appreciate about this airplane, but namely the twin engine or the twin motor setup and that high clearance on the prop and really robust and durable landing gear. If you've watched our channel many times, the only time you've ever seen anything take off and land in this grass is usually like a two meter size airplane uh, with a 6S battery. So this is a 4S airplane. I think that's 1.5 meters taking off and landing. I didn't take off, but we easily could in this really tall, definitely not RC quality of grass. Now I'd, I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments. Is, is this too many timbers? Like too many timbers? You get it, twin motor? Seriously, do they have enough timbers? They just released a UMX Turbo Timber Evolution very recently, and now with this. My guess is I think they can't come up with any more, right? This has got to be it. This is definitely the last one of the saga. We'll see what happens. I think they need a purple and pink one myself, but we'll see. <laughs> At this point, they're running out of colors, so they're just gonna have to like start going crazy, I think. I think they, I wish they would. I, I wish, wish they'd they do like too. yellow, pink, and purple. Amelia would be so happy, oh unicorn skin. Well, yeah, 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 uh, I'd, I'd fly that, it'd be pretty cool. Make it so shiny, it blinds you. Put a horn blind. on top of it. So this is great, guys. It took me maybe 20 minutes or so to slap together. Assembly was a little harder than traditional airplanes, but not hard. Just a couple extra wires to plug in, but they made it very, very easy to do. Now, as usual, this will be linked in the description box below. And when you click that link and use it to buy your RC stuff, whether it's this plane or anything else, battery charger or whatever, it does help our channel and our family. It supports us at no extra cost to you. So we're very, very grateful. 
We thank you for doing that from the bottom of our hearts. And while we're on the subject of thanks, I wanna thank the big guy upstairs for getting us out here today on this beautiful day. Spring is right around the corner. Basically, we're, I think we're actually officially in the first day of spring now, or that was maybe yesterday or something. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And I thank God for that because I, just hate flying in the winter, it hurts my hands. And finally, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters. We couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support, so we thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Now, if you're into Timbers, you're lucky because we have probably 100 videos of Timbers on our channel. We'll randomly pick one of those. Definitely worth your time, and that'll be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.